Can someone explain to me what the hell I just watch? And not that it's a negative thing. Like I'm, I'm still processing. I'm still processing my head right now. But while I'm processing all this, it's kind of hurting my head a lot. I cannot think straight at all. I think I just broke myself while watching this movie. Unless the movie broke me. Depends really. Depends really. Oh, well, welcome back to another movie review on the channel, and, uh, yeah, it's out now. Rise of the Titans is finally streaming on Netflix, and, oh, man, uh, so things have come to an end. Just, oh, man, I, I, I'm completely speechless, honestly. I'm, I mean, right now it's 2.37 in the morning. Luckily, I was, well, after, um, before I went to take a nap after having a headache of, woo, yeah, like, all that from my movie reaction. Also, my movie reaction is out now. You could over to check it out on, on the I, icon up here but after taking a nap no before taking a nap i was able to upload my footage and yeah sadly i lost 10 percent of footage of everyone of our reactions to the ending but i'm just gonna have to accept it i'm just gonna have to accept it because all we did was just like and then i because that's what that's because that's what happened that's what happened because that's what happened but yeah, this is going to be a spoiler-free review, and I will be making a spoiler review this Friday. So, um, yeah, for those of you that uh, have been uh, posting spoilers in the comments down below, as I've seen on my comments section. But, yeah, so, you, oh, yeah, yeah, you can spoil, I'll, I'll allow it, I'll allow it, but for this video, you can only spoil, no, wait, no, no, I take that back. Let me rephrase that. You can only put spoiler-free thoughts in the comments down below, but once I make my spoiler review, then, yeah, you could dump your spoiler thoughts in the comments down below. For my spoiler review this Friday. But yeah, I am going to do my best to not spoil anything because, legit, I have a lot of thoughts I need to talk about. But yeah, so yeah, uh, Rise of the Titans, the final, uh, pretty much the conclusion, the finale, the ending for the Tales of Arcadia trilogy slash saga. But uh, yeah, let's get down to business. Before I start talking about my spoiler free thoughts, let me just have a sip of water because I may still have a headache. I mean, I was asleep. From, um, uh, probably around, no, 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 I was asleep around 9, because I went, I took a nap from 9 and woke up around 12, so, yeah, I, I guess I had a pretty good sleep. Also, I was watching my movie reaction, try to put myself to sleep, but, yeah, I've been watching my movie reaction while I was trying to take a nap, but before I talk about the dust, let me just have some water. I'm always drinking some water, it's, it's very healthy. All right, all right, all right. Now I should start the process. Like, I gotta slow down because I talk way too fast, and I need to. I'm just like, just you know, you know, because I'm always talking too fast. Anyways, so yeah, after watching Rise of Titans, so um, uh, was it disappointing? I'd say it was awesome sauce, lively, epic, and in other words, it was not disappointing. But I could see how. People are, I mean, people are going to enjoy this, but it, I'm, I, 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 I can only see 75% people enjoying this and then 25% people either disappointed with this or are hating it because of the ending, which I will talk about my thoughts on that. But yeah, so this takes place after the events of Wizards Tells of Arcadia, where we pretty much, um, also spoiler, actually I'm going to do this for spoilers for Wizards, Wizards, I'm not talking spoilers for the movie, just doing this for, for Wizards if no one hasn't seen it. But do check it out, too. And if you're going to watch the movie, then do check out Troll Hunters 3 Below and Wizards on Netflix. Because it's going to help you catch up with a few things for um, Rise of the Titans. Anyway, so spoilers for Wizards in 3, 2, 1. And uh, I've said this a couple of times in my reviews. Like, if I do this, I'm talking spoilers. And you could just press M on your keyboard to mute. But, yeah. But, all right. Then here comes the spoilers. So, yeah. we Last time we saw our... You know, Guardians of Arcadia, the Arcane Order have been hunting down Nari, and along with Jim, the Troll Hunter, and the Genesis Seals. And why do they need the Genesis Seals? Because they need it to pretty much restart the entire planet, or in other words, destroy the entire world. Because apparently we screwed up something back around the 12th, late century, which took which was Camelot and stuff. But yeah, and they all need to be present, which they needed Nari for, but why do they need to so they could get, so they could break out Morgana out of the Shadow Realm, but that really wasn't the point. So yeah, 
pretty much uh Jim dies, but he turns back to human after Claire had shed a tear on Stone Troll Jim, and then yeah, again, Joel uh Troll Jim no more. Um human Jim is back. But we pretty much leave off to a major cliffhanger for Wizards Tells of Arcadia and um uh hold up, hold up. So yeah, uh Duke is now taking care of Nari from the from the Arcane Order, which is Belrock and Skrell. So uh yeah. And they're pretty much separated a little bit. All all characters for between Earth and um Space. But yeah. That, but yeah, it takes place after the events of Wizard Cells by Kidia, where Duke C takes out Nari and the Arcane Order are still trying to hunt them down. They have the Genesis Seals, sadly, but now that they now that they now they need Nari to complete the ritual, I think. But yeah, I, I think that's all I gotta talk about for the spoilers for um Wizards, but yeah. Now, um okay, where now where do I honestly where do I begin now? I had a blast watching this. Cut like I've said this multiple times. Challengers is just Avengers in my head, and Three Below, Age of Voltron, and then Wizards. Now I had said Wizards was pretty much Infinity War and Endgame. Uh, that, I said I have been saying that before I found out we were getting a movie in 2021. So yeah, pretty much Wizards is just straight up Infinity War. We don't know what the cliffhanger and how the Arcane Order had been pretty much winning almost every time, you know, and with the Guardians of Arcadia not. Winning, you know, because like the Arcane are just straight up Thanos, but yeah, which is just pretty much Infinity War and Rise of Titans is just straight up Endgame. And the best part about this, the best part about this movie is that all characters from Troll Hunters, Three Blow, Wizards come together. Like um, the Troll Hunters from Troll Hunters, and now Three Blow and Wizards are pretty much spinoffs to Troll Hunters, but. We get we get Aja Krell and Vervatos Vex along with Eli Pepperjack and along with uh Luke and we get uh Duxie, Archie and I guess other characters we're familiar with like um Stewart and Steve and along with other characters from Troll Hunters and uh, mostly Troll Hunters actually since Strickler and Namor are in this movie of course but um all right all right so um I, okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a trouble I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna. You know, I'm actually gonna go write some some notes now. So be right back, cause I I should always take notes actually for a movie review, cause I look I kind of get speechless, and I'm now speechless. I can't even think straight. Yeah, I'm gonna go take some notes real quick. Be right back. All right, I'm back, and I have like ten stuff I would like to talk about, and also this is notes I've taken, so it wasn't that long, honestly. Oh, it was that long. Anyways, all right, let's start off with the uh, first one, which I probably already said, but I'm just going to say it. If I had said it, I'm just going to say it again. The best part about this movie is that we get almost all the characters from the ser- from all three epic series that we've watched, like Troll Hunters, Three Below, and Wizards, but we don't get, like, all, all of them from, from, uh, from the series, since, of course, some of them are kind of dead, and some of them are still alive, but, and by dead, we already know who's dead, like Vendel, Drawl, um, Buster, sadly, Mother and Merlin, you, you get the idea. But yeah, we but I say we probably got enough characters in this movie. Like, we probably got like seventy five percent of Tales of Arcadia characters for this movie. And now, now the second part. So I pretty much predicted like five or ten percent of the movie. I thought I probably would predicted fifty percent or worse the entire movie. But honestly, I probably predicted like five or ten percent of the movie. Some of them having to do with the deaths in this one. And you probably know what the deaths are, but... But anyways, and I'm actually gas, honestly, but mostly for some of the actors I was familiar with, like Archie, voiced by Afro Molina, who I know him know him as Dr. Octopus from Spider-Man 2, and Blinky uh, from one of the... I, I, actually, I'm going to look up the cast real quick, because, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me with not getting people's names right or remembering them. Because I just, I just don't know why. I really don't know why. But, but um, uh, for the actor who plays uh, Kelsey Grammer, who voices Blinky, I know him from Transformers: Age of Extinction, where uh, he says the the Age of Transformers is over. And then for uh, uh, Stewart, which is uh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me find it. Let me find it in here. Let me find it in here. Let me find it. In here. Uh, Nick Frost, who I am also familiar with, with a couple of movies I've seen, which I cannot think of at the moment, and, um, 
along with Steve, who we all know he voices uh, Mark Grayson from uh, Invincible. Yeah, Invincible. And oh, I forgot what other characters I forgot to put the name in. Like um, Jonathan Hyde. Like now, I swear I know him from somewhere, but I just can't remember what movie it was. Same goes for Nick Offerman, but. I, I, I cannot remember what movies or show I've seen him from. Same goes for Diego Luna now. I do know where he was from. He's definitely from the Book of Life and Rogue One, the Star Wars story. And also, the actress who play, who voices uh, Aja Taran, I had found out that she's going to be She-Hulk in the Disney Plus series. So I had found out, oh, snap, the actor who's going to play She-Hulk is in Tales of Arcadia, three below. Ah. And another thing, the best part, best part about this is that Tom Kenny, who I had said, uh, I don't know if I said this in my three below review, but he voices Talking Hank, along with SpongeBob and a couple other characters we've known from other movies or TV shows. But he voices uh, Ricky T Ricky Blank, and of course we get the blanks in here, but only for a little bit, sadly. But yeah, he he is in this movie since, of course, uh, he voices Ricky uh, Ricky Blank, Ricky Blank. But yeah, I'm familiar. So some of the voice actors who voice some of these characters that we all love, I'm familiar with some of these actors. But uh, yeah, now we got like eighty percent of Jalair. I cannot pronounce that correctly. I don't know why, but we got we kind of got like twenty per no eighty percent. I meant to say eighty. Sorry, we got like eighty percent of Jim and Claire moments and twenty percent of Staja moments. And also, there's gonna be some. And also, there's gonna be some funny and surprising parts. That has to do with Staja, and um, if you already seen it, then you probably know what were the surprising and funny moments about it. Because, like, <laughs> oh, I did not saw that coming. And, I, and apparently it's a thing, but I can't tell you what it is. So I'll tell you in, like, in my spoiler review. But uh, the funniest characters for this movie are honestly Steve, Toby, Eli, Stewart, and Coach Lawrence. Yes, Coach Lawrence is in this movie, yeah. Yeah, we got, we got some, we got, like I said earlier, we got a few characters from all the series for Tales of Arcadia, which is Challengers, Three Blue, and Wizards, so, yeah. And, um, now, I probably, I, like I said earlier, if I did set this, um, 75% of Tales of Arcadia fans will mostly enjoy this, and 25% of Tales of Arcadia fans will either be disappointed with Rise of the Titans, or worse, hate the movie. For a couple of reasons, mostly around the ending, which I will get to that part. And, um, Tales of Arcadia fans are, actually, when I said I was going to get to that part, I'm now, I'm getting to that part now, but, so yeah, Tales of, Ar Tales of Arcadia fans are going to be 50-50 with the ending, and I'm still processing whether I liked it or not, I'm still processing about it, but it's just, it might take me a while, I don't know, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how long it's going to take me, I'm still processing my thoughts with the ending, but I still enjoy the movie, I still enjoy the movie, but, People are pretty much going to be 50 50 with it. They accept the ending. They liked it. They thought it was all right. Or they're mostly going to hate the ending. They're mostly going to hate it. And I can see how they can hate the ending. But it's honestly very interesting when you think about it with the ending. Because imagine the possibilities. But yeah, Tales of Arcadia fans are pretty much going to be 50 50 with the ending. And. I was worried if this movie was going to be a bit rushed, like how Wizards Tells Rakidia was a bit rushed that I forgot to mention in my Wizards review. Now, I was worried if it was going to be rushed, and I would have preferred to have this movie two hours long because just you just want to have just like a long movie to watch for the rest of your life, sadly, it's 146 minutes. It could have been one, it could have been two hours like the Justice League. Screw Just Reason in this stupid Justice League movie that Warner Bros. made. It could have been two hours long, honestly. Whether it's two hours or just two hours and something, something minutes. But sadly, it's 146 minutes. Hey, it could have been two hours and 26 minutes. But honestly, I... Uh, oh, crap. Where was I? I lost track. So, but... Oh, there it is. But yeah, like I said earlier, I was worried that this movie was going to be a bit rushed. Like how Wizards tells me like that was. But honestly, I guess... I hate to admit, sadly, I guess it was enough. We got enough for this movie. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it was a bit... It wasn't rushed at all, but I... Hate to admit, we probably had gotten enough when I prefer to have this movie two hours or two hours and 46 minutes since you would like to get a lot of stuff. A lot of, just, just, I don't know how to explain it, but you probably get what I mean. But, um, now the soundtrack, I'll give it uh, an 8 point out of, no, 8.5 out of 10, I meant. Uh, 8.5 out of 10, I mean. But, 
for a scene that involves something that I've been using for my uh, videos that I cannot say, but you probably know what it is, and I probably just spoiled it, but the scene where they featured uh, an OST that I've been listening for days, I've been using for some of my videos, oh, I had lost my insanity, which is also the reason why I had to take a nap, because my head was ringing, because I kept screaming, I pretty much had lost my cool and my insanity. I went full. I, I kind of went nuts. I kind of went nuts. And it's honestly one of the best parts about this movie and my most favorite scene of the movie. And it honestly reminds me of the Snyder Cut, which was uh, where Superman comes in and beats the crap out of Steppenwolf. Because it reminds me of that. And I just freaking love it. I freaking love it. But yeah, most Tales by KF fans are going to enjoy Rise of Titans. And. What? Oh, wait, no way. Crap. Let me, let me rephrase that. All right. I'm sorry. I added something there. My bad. My bad. But let me rephrase that. So, most Tales of Arcadia fans are going to enjoy Rise of the Titans. And now, I, I was, dis there's a couple, now there's 10% of the movie I was a little bit disappointed with, mostly with some of the scenes, and it may have to do with the ending. But then again, but again, again, I'm still processing my thoughts whether I like the ending or not. But honestly, no, there's 90% of it that I enjoyed of, because mostly, I, I freaking enjoyed this movie, like, I waited a year for this, and was the, was it, with, was the wait worth it? Oh, hell to the yes, because this movie was glorious, lively, awesome sauce, freaking epic. Now, I said this in my final thoughts video, where, you know, we get a, well, that, the most part I was looking forward to see was pretty much the battle between Gun Robot and, um, Fire Titan, because it reminded me a lot of, um, of the Hong Kong battle from Godzilla vs. Kong, and, this is gonna sound. This is gonna be a, a little bit of a spoiler, but it shouldn't be that big of a deal. But the fight where Gun Robot and the Fire Titan are fighting actually takes place in Hong Kong, which I thought it was New York or something, but it actually takes place in Hong Kong, which honestly made me a lot happy and is also one of the best parts I enjoyed about this movie because the fight scene took place around Hong Kong. Because, like I said, it reminded me. Of the Hong Kong battle from Godzilla vs. Kong, which I enjoyed a lot. Just, oh man, just, I enjoyed it a lot. I, I freaking enjoyed it a lot. Just, oh man, but the best, the, my most favorite scene about this movie. Oh, it has to do with Jim, but I can't, I can't say what it is, but I just really want to say it badly, but I can't say it, and I'm going to save it for my review, for my spoiler review for Tales of Arcadia, but yeah. But still, I'm kind of, I'm still processing with my thoughts with the ending, you know, I'm just. I'm, I'm still processing whether I liked it or not, which I've said that, that for the third time. But but honestly, when I think about it, it's, well, it's, it's kind of interesting. I mean, I'd, I'd be upset and not, I'm just, I would just be upset and would have just not liked the ending. But still like the movie, but just not the ending. Like um, how Chris does, like, liked Black Widow, but wasn't a fan of the ending, you know. But just, um, you know, it's very interesting. It's very interesting when I think about it. But... I don't know how long I'm gonna be processing this. Like, e either I broke myself or the movie had immediately broke me. Like, I'm kind of malfunctioning at the moment because there's a lot of thoughts I'm trying to process with everything that I will talk about for my spoiler review. But um, but yeah, I honestly enjoyed the movie. It, I had a blast watching it, especially with my brother and Rylan. And the best part about it is that we got we get a couple of references and callbacks to Troll Hunters Three Below and Wizards, probably mostly Troll Hunters. But now is do I, is the series better than the movie, or is the movie better than the series? Now, honestly, probably the movie. Probably probably the movie. When I guess one reason why is because um Jim is not a troll. Now Troll Jim is cool, but I just did I just didn't like how Jim was pretty much gonna be a troll for the rest of his life. And the end of Troll Hunter. So honestly, I guess Troll Hunt. I guess I, I yeah. I pretty much would say Troll Hunters Rise of the Titans is better than the Troll Hunter series. And yeah, and I am planning to do a ranking on all four Tales of Arcadia projects, which is three series, not three TV series and one movie. I am planning to rank all four of them. I'll, I'll probably make a video about that either tomorrow or Friday, depends really. But anyways, let's get down to business. So um. Actually, I'm going to give five stars 100%. The action is freaking glorious. It is awesome sauce. It is lively. I just, I enjoyed every bit of it. I enjoyed every bit of it. And for comedy, I'm going to give four stars 80%, mostly because of the characters I had said earlier that were funny, like Steve, Eli, Toby, Stewart, and Lucky, I think. I don't know. But the for drama, now, 
I, okay, that plane is kind of interrupting me, but drama, I've said this multiple times, and I might as well say it for the rest of my reviews. I honestly don't care about it, but I'll probably will once I understand when I'm an adult and stuff, but I'll give it 50 50, three and a half stars, 50%, mostly because, you know, since in the movie, Jim is just kind of a little bit depressed and sad that he's no longer the troll hunter and has no amulet. And I, now, I could probably, I could have been like this a little bit. Like, okay, yes, Jim, we understand you lost your amulet, but could you like chill about it? I mean, you, you, I mean, you can't your friends make one? I mean, you could like chill about it. I could have been like that for the entire time. Like how Chris was a little bit disappointed with F9, like how, like, um, in F9, they pretty much just mention a couple of things about how they survived multiple times, and Chris was annoyed with that. Like, I could have been like that with Jim, being, you know, just saying, uh, I'm no hero, I have no amulet, I'm not the troll hunter. I, I could have been like that, but we didn't get, I, I, I mean, it's not, we, there's not a bunch of scenes where he's just acting like that. Just Let's just say a little bit, and I could have just been like, okay, Jim, you could chill. You could chill about it. Like, can you, can, 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 can you stop being like that? But... Luckily, I wasn't like that, but yeah, I, my dear, I could have been like that for the entire thing if he continued being, you know, continue complaining about not being the troll hunter, but, but yeah, I'll just give drama 50, 50, 50 percent. Now, I was going to give this 20 percent for some, you know, for her, I was going to give it 20 percent, but honestly, there's nothing scary, but there may be a couple of deaths that will pretty much break your heart and I guess scare you or something, but honestly, I'm giving horror zero percent. There's nothing really to be scared of. This is, of course, a kid's family movie. And I'm going to probably be embarrassed for everyone that finds out that I'm into this series and, and that I'm into a kid's show. And I don't know how am I going to deal with that, but I'm just going to say, does I don't care about it. You can piss off. You can piss off about it. I, I can like whatever I like. But we'll, we'll see what happens. But And suspense, oh, five stars, honestly, because the suspense is not only well built, but like, the legit, I'm just hoping some of these characters live and Honestly, there's a character we've all been worried about, about dying, but honestly, there's another character we should have been worried about dying, so, yeah, and I cannot say what character that is, because it's gonna be, it's a major spoiler, but there's a character, like, like I said, there's a character we sh that we were all worried about that was going to die, but there's another character that we should have been worried about, instead of worrying about the other character dying, because it just, I kind of, like, almost cried, I, I sadly didn't make tears, but I did kind of try crying on command, because... Uh, there's a couple of clips in my videos where I'm attempting to cry on command and I fail horribly and this ends up horrible. But casual fans, like I said earlier, mo most Tales of Arcadia fans are going to enjoy Rise of the Titans. So yeah, casual fans will give it an A+, and Cinephiles A+, mostly for the animation. Now, when I saw the trailer and the clips, I didn't notice how, I mean, I noticed that the animation was different, but I didn't know, I didn't notice the full details of it, so I had trouble noticing how good the animation was. The animation is fine. It's just I didn't notice how good it was. But after watching the movie, oh, the animation is just straight up amazing. And I mean, it's the same, but mostly different. Mostly different. It's hard to explain, but the animation is just, it's just amazing. And correctly, I'm giving it an A10. No, wait. A+. Plus. I meant to say A+. Plus. I meant to say A+. Plus. Sorry. I'm giving it an A+. Plus, 10 out of 10. For the moist mirror, I'm giving it a 100%. But yeah, this is definitely... Getting the movie award, and I've been waiting to put on the thing. Like I gotta put it add to add to your collection, but honestly, and now I, I it would sound like I wanted to do it because I enjoyed it, but I should have just added either add to your collection or must watch it for my honest opinion. But honestly, I freaking enjoyed this. This movie is it's just a blast, and it's such a bummer that this is the last Tales of Arcadia project that we're getting. But so I'm giving it the movie award. But yeah, that's it. We've come to the end of Tales of Arcadia, but. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not, but I'm, that doesn't mean I'm done with making Tales of Arcadia videos. I am planning to make a video where I talk about my thoughts before Wizards, and then I'm going to be talking about uh, my ranking and my experience with Tales of Arcadia, like how I've done for the MonsterVerse. And of course, I'm going to be talking about my spoiler review this Friday. So be sure to like, subscribe, turn on the case bell to never miss a video, especially ringing the bell so you don't miss my spoiler review. Because, because again, keep your sport like, comment below spoiler free thoughts you could dump the spoilers for my spoiler review but um yeah let me know your thoughts about it in the comments down below if you enjoyed it or didn't enjoy it but yeah let me know your thoughts about the movie in the comments down below and as always i'll see you guys in my spoiler review for troll hunters rise of the titans peace out